you feel that exactly what you're feeling now. I can't really explain it. And I think a close-up look into that eye sums up all of those emotions in one. And again, I want to not discourage anyone from feeling sad about this. This is a sad event. But um, without being cliched about it, these animals live a very wild and a very proud and a very competitive life. And I think even the cubs that are dead would have had a happier life living like this than they would have somewhere else where they could have grown to a ripe old age in a zoo. So part of the reality is part of our surroundings. And part of the experiences that we're going to have out here. Some of them will be exciting and uplifting and most of the time will make you feel so much better. Some of them will make you feel a bit sad. But it's all part of, of this amazing space that we that we share, I guess. Not just look at. We don't just look at these things. We share it with everything else out here. It's part of the cycle of how that works. We're going to move on. We're going to try and look around. I guess we'll have another look here tomorrow, so see what's happening here. We'll uh, try and look around for the Mapojo males. Now, again, I don't want to speak up for them, <laughs> because I can't. It would be a little bit like... Uh, like a prehistoric mouse saying, I'm going to speak up for the Tyrannosaurus rexes. Um, they can speak well enough for themselves, but keep in mind that these are not horrible animals. They are, they are just behaving the way that any strong dominant species of male lion would have. And they are stronger and more dominant than most lions can afford to be. So, it is part of how it goes.